Hello, this is Raquin, and this is my first Let's Play attempt, where we're playing Inherit the Earth, Quest for the Orb. Uh, so what I do know about the game is that it was originally released in 1994 and then re-released in 2004, and it's a point-and-click adventure game, which is I'd heard about because it's basically all furry. Um, but I don't know too much about it, and hopefully I'll do alright because it's been a long time since I ever played a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, a really long time for that sort, so hopefully I won't get completely stuck, because all the games and stuff. And yeah, I also know that, because I was checking how this started, the play button for some reason is actually to the side and not where it says it should be. So let's see how it goes. sky, we see the land, we see the water, and we wonder, are we the only ones? Long before we came to exist, the humans ruled the earth. They made marvelous things and moved whole mountains. They knew the secret of flight, the secret of happiness, and other secrets beyond our imagining. The humans also knew the secret of life, and they used it to give us the four great gifts. Thinking minds, feeling hearts, speaking mouths, and reaching hands. We are their children. They taught us how to use our hands, and how to speak. They showed us the joy of using our minds. They loved us. And when we were ready, they surely would have given us the secret of happiness. Yeah, people don't know that. And now we see the sky, the land, and the water that we are heirs to. And we wonder, why did they leave? Do they live still in the stars, in the ocean depths, in the wind? We wonder, was their fate good or evil? And will we also share the same fate one day? Yeah, I had heard humans went extinct, but I'm not sure why or how it fits into the plot at all. So, although clearly the Furry characters inherited the earth, so. I mean, I'm not gonna skip all this because I don't know when it gets into actual story stuff and I don't wanna miss that, so. And it seems it will get a story. Or more credits, but. Great. Ah, one of those names looked familiar. So, tournament time. I won! I won! I knew I could defeat you! What? Why? How did you... While your pawn was still searching in the Cave of Tears, my paladin made it through the forest to home base! You were taken totally by surprise! How could I have allowed myself to be defeated by such a simple trick? You weren't defeated by a trick! You were defeated by your own cockiness! You were already polishing the victory medallion instead of concentrating on the puzzle! That's not true! I was... I was... Hear ye! Hear ye! It is time for 
the awarding of the prizes. <laughs> he's not even facing the people he's talking to. The silver medallion for second place is awarded to Griff of the Fox Tribe. And the first prize of the gold medallion goes to Scory of the Rat Tribe. Just eat him. Congratulations to both of our winners. Now everyone enjoy the fair. You won! No. You got the silver medallion for second place. It's not winning. It's not first place. I should have won first place. I was too busy thinking about the prize instead of the puzzle. I should have. Attention, everyone. By authority of the Forest King, I hereby declare this fair officially closed. What is the meaning of this? The Orb of Storms has been stolen from its resting place. Orb of Storms? This is most distressing. Until the Orb has been returned, everyone is confined to their homes while a full investigation is conducted. Confined? Boars cannot be confined! We go where we want! We do what we want! Including, perhaps, stealing the Orb of Storms? Boars do not steal! Why would we steal it? They seem a lot like the dwarves. Orb storms. storms bring rain. Rain brings mud. And who likes mud better than anything? Boars! Bah! If we had wanted the Orb, we would have just walked in boldly and taken it. No, Elk, we are not thieves. We do not sneak around and steal like the fox. Hey! Quiet! Or is there something you'd like to tell us? J just that foxes don't always steal. <laughs> Some of us have never stolen anything. Confess, Fox. Tell us where you were last evening just before sundown. I camped in the woods overnight on my way here. And I suppose someone saw you and can confirm this? I can. I was with him the whole time. Ha! First one fox lies, and then the other fox does by saying the first one was telling the truth. We boars want the orb returned. As much as I hate to admit, there is truth in what the elf captain has said. Without the orb, we will not know when the rains will come. We will not know when to prepare the mud baths. All this makes the boars very mad. We want answers now! And morphs without answers will get hurt! Huh. Are you threatening us? So I guess they're all called hurt. morphs now. Boars will hurt all! Boars want the ore back now! Very well, Captain. I'll deal with this. Under the authority granted me by the Forest King, I arrest you both for the theft of... But you can't do that. We haven't stolen anything. I'm afraid I'll have to hold the two of you in custody until this puzzle is solved. Puzzle? You say this is a puzzle? Then I'm the last person you want to arrest. What do you mean? See this medallion? This is for second place in the puzzle solving contest. If anyone can find the Orb of Storms and bring it back to you, it's me. I would have thought Scurry the Rat would have been better one to use, but hey. Very well. You have until the next new moon to find the orb. Okay, see you then. Come on, Reen. However, just to make sure that you return, I will send one of my warriors along with you. Lieutenant Ia, please <laughs> step forward. Lieutenant Ia, you will accompany them on their quest. Aid them wherever and whenever you can. But if they try to escape or refuse to return, your orders are to use whatever force is necessary to return them to us to stand trial. Is that perfectly clear, Lieutenant? Yes, my captain. Wait! Boars do not trust foxes. Boars do not trust elk. Both are weak fools. 
I will send along a true warrior, one who will get the job done. Ark! Ark, go with them. Find this ore. If they are lying, kill them. If they try to escape, kill them. If you suspect treachery, kill them. If they do not find the orb, kill them. What about if we snore too loudly? Riff! Maybe I won't wait. Maybe I'll kill them now. Enough. Now go. Remember, you have only until the next new moon to complete your quest. Wait. I do not trust you most of all, young fox. So, to make sure you come back, we will keep your little friend. Ow! Rip! Green! Remember, if you return by the next new moon, your friend will be released unharmed. If you don't return by then, why, I'll just have me a new pelt for my wall. <laughs> now go! <laughs> it's just cartoonishly Green. Green. evil. I suggest you concentrate on completing your task. Remember, you have only until... The next new moon. You don't have to remind me. I'll be here, and I'll have the orb with me. I hope that you do. Lieutenant Ia, you're in charge. Carry on and Godspeed. Yes, sir. Well, my new friends, our quest lies ahead. Let us not keep it waiting. Okay, that was kind of a strange beginning. I mean, not least of all if they're... I uh, think he's the one that stole it and then like, well, why don't you go investigate this crime you committed? Because... Yeah, that's that's not how people normally do things, but okay. So just seeing how things work, yeah, they're gonna follow us. Okay, it's interesting. And then all sorts of. I'll get a rematch. Then they'll see. Okay, they don't tell us anything about the game. It's got to go up close to look at things apparently. Look, no. Okay. Maybe you can't look at everything. This is the scene of my humiliating defeat. Okay, so let's get started then. We need to find out what happened with this orb. Oh yeah, I was also wondering why I assume we can just walk off screen. Uh wondering why you know, boars can do this sort of thing. I mean, there's a forest king, but who's actually in charge? Uh, who's this? Fairgoer. Well, we don't need to talk to him, I guess. I wonder if I can control this with the keyboard. No. I mean, like the other point and click game that I already played was Space Quest V where you didn't have moving environments, so this is kind of different that way. And I have no idea where I need to start going, but maybe we can talk to this guy. No? Yeah. Excuse me, my good woman, but could I trouble you long enough to ask you a few questions? Oh, very well. Ask your questions, but make them brief. It's also kind of cool that there's... I thought keys would help, but no. Uh, kind of cool that everything is spoken because I don't remember that being a thing in very many older games. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure how much of this is useful to me. I mean, why would she know any of this? But. Do you have any suspicions as to who may have stolen the Orb of Storms? There are plenty around here who would be mean enough to do it. I wouldn't put it past any of them. Well, that's helpful. Uh, so what is this all? any information about the stolen orb? Now, do I look like the type of person who would have information about those silly orbs? It seems that people have placed so much importance on these orbs, they've forgotten how to do anything for themselves. Know what I mean? No, no idea. Could you offer me any advice on my search? The only advice I have is not to take any advice from anybody. 
they don't know what they're talking about. They'll just try to steal from you, or cheat you, or get whatever you've got. People are like that. Yes, ma'am. Well, I well, assume that means her advice, so I'll so just take advice from other people. It has truly been a pleasure talking to you. No, it hasn't. Well, uh, thank you, young man. It was nice to talk to you, too. Such a polite young man. Good luck to you and your companions. Just you be careful. There's so much meanness out there, you know. Yes, ma'am. Fare you well. Yes, that fox is just a real articulate fellow. Um. Oh, so speaking about like all this meanness talk she is going on about. Oh, they're moving automatically. Something. No? Okay. But maybe I should go in this door. Or not. Ooh. Is all this not stuff I can look at? Oh, he's a money changer. Can I pick up the money? There are key controls. No. Okay. That's not helpful. So we just keep walking. I don't think there's much point talking to the money changer. Um, yeah, they were, they were. Darn, lost my child of thought. Oh, yes, uh, meanness. So, I mean, it sounds a bit childish, but apparently that was, when I looked on Wikipedia, that was something that did happen. It's not at all. Um, where this was supposed to have some more serious themes, but because it had talking animals, it just got, ooh. Um, people just assumed, oh, no, it's for children. And so, sanctuary, cave, well, let's go to the village. Um, so they've had to cut out a lot of stuff, like there's no death scenes apparently, which is a pity. I mean, not, not the lack of death scenes, more just the sort of making it more childish when it could have been just a more mature thing. But I mean, I, anime used to have that same problem, so. I mean, it looks kind of cool, actually. We got a little fox. Uh, this is our medallion. Next time, this will be gold. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, because like I say, this is a ooh a thingy. Yeah, well, that's helpful. Oh, come back, villager. Worker ferret. Ah. Okay, let's try talk to the worker ferret. No. Oh, there's another one. No, can't talk. I'm not sure if I can't talk to him or if it's just that clicking things here is not always super uh, easy because it seems like sometimes I've clicked things where nothing's happened. And let's see, can we open the door? No. Let's no, see, you can. No, let's walk to the door. A wheelbarrow. Can we pick up a bucket? Nope, it's got some wet paint on the handle. And if that's important, probably not. I mean, pretty standard bucket. Good to know. Good to know. What about the wheelbarrow? We used to play with these when we were kids. Oh well. Oh, I could maybe talk to these. Uh, these people that are accompanying me. Let's talk to. Yeah! Let's hope we get somewhere with these ferrets. Oh, okay. Let's talk to the ferrets. I don't want to talk to the boar. He seems like he's a boar. Uh, it's an unfortunate species name for him. The worker ferrets didn't seem to be very Im no, go there we go, through the door. Very important. There's a picture. Now that's a ferret face if I've ever seen one. Well yeah, I mean I could have told that without going that close, but Okay, it's kinda of weird this going in and out of things, but No, okay, whatever. 
presumably there's like a ferret leader somewhere or a world map not a world map but a a map of the town so I know where I'm going or maybe I can talk to him. no come uh, there we go we did get to talk to one <coughs> hello coworker ferret what village is this this is the ferret village and site of the Tinker's lodge well thank you for your time see you later okay I guess we should find the Tinker's lodge then Tinkers make toys, I believe. We need to ferret out some information. That's like the second animal pun I've done so far, isn't it? I hope you like animal puns, otherwise this could be a long game. Um, or if I just play really badly, it could be a long game too. And that's not where we were before, is it? Because also, older games are often not very forgiving. Or explain much. Like, this one hasn't really explained too much. Apart from, I mean, the exposition dump, but... No? Yeah, there we go. This looks just like the other one that we were at. But I don't think it is. See, like, look at this. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how you get out of this building view, but we will figure it out in time. Yeah, it's like all these ferrets have exactly the same place. I mean, maybe it just takes a while to walk to outside. If I, yeah, yeah okay, it just takes a while to walk to outside. Uh, Tinker's Lodge, Tinker's Lodge. There's another door there. I mean, this is a big sort of place. Can you just walk to the store? No. Ooh, stuff visible there. But then again, I should probably open these other doors as well. What are you looking at? Oh, whoopsie. Why? I was supposed to be walking, not. I don't think he likes me. I mean, he's pretty much said he doesn't. He doesn't like foxes. I mean, actually, with that whole accusation thing, it immediately seemed um, a lot like the the scene in Zootopia where um, they confronted what was his name? That um, the kitty cat. I mean, kitty cat. He was a panther or something. Okay, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going in this. So. I'm sorry that we're walking around in circles, but uh, nothing special about it. No, don't walk into the door. Ah, that's a builder seal. That must be the emblem of the build. Builder seal. That's a large saw. It's a saw. Thank you. It's fastened to the wall. Well, that's unfortunate. I tried to take it. I mean, I know what you're thinking. Why? That would just be stealing, but... Oh, it is a smaller saw, but... Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm not sure where I should be getting information anyway, so I've tried this... This ferret village, but it's difficult to move around, like... Maybe we should have gone... To a side path? Like one of those other places, there was a cave, and I mean, none of that's really going to. Can't even look at that. Because I mean, all the other buildings seem the same, unless I was really supposed to just keep going in a particular direction. I assume this will lead us away at some point. I mean, just walking around the ferret village. This is certainly not the most productive first episode. Hello again, little ferret. Can you talk? No, come back. No. Ah, uh, okay, so there's... I don't 
don't know why it's. Excuse me. Yes. Ah, this bird probably says this? the same thing. This is the bird. Yeah, yeah. How about the thing is well, Blah 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 blah. You well, at least he's friendly, I guess. You know, I heard a funny little ferret fact. I think it was ferrets anyway, that apparently if ferrets menstruate and they don't mate, they'll bleed to death. Yeah, just interesting. I mean, not really relevant to anything here. See, that, that looks like the end of the village there. Oh, shoot. I just minimized the game. There we go. Now it's back. You probably didn't see anything different because this OBS studio just cares about... No, it must have been in there. The door's open. Yeah, I really have no idea where I need to go in this place. Which is frustrating, both for me, probably for you. Um... <laughs> Not a great first episode, I must say. But still, seeing the game, and that's nice enough. Maybe we should just talk to the fat ball. Uh, please try not to intimidate the ferrets. Who me? Didn't have much to add, did he? Okay, I'm gonna try to get out of this village, get to the world map, and maybe there we can. Oh, wait, whoa. Where, where is he going now? Okay, so... Maybe we need to still look around the market and talk... Oh, there's a castle. Oh, if it was stolen from the castle, right? A forest King had a castle. There's also a Forest King in um, Starter Squad. Cool Pokemon um, animation. This strikes me as being most unwise. Walking into the enemy camp and risking capture ourselves is the last thing we need. But information is the first thing we need, and this may be our only way to obtain it. I still think this is pure folly. Perhaps the elk is right. We should not disturb the boar king. He will be very angry. Really, Ak? Surely you have nothing to fear. You are an honored boar warrior, specially chosen for this mission by the captain of the boar guard. I should think you'd be expecting a hero's welcome. Bah! This assignment is not an honor. It is... A punishment. Ooh. What? A punishment? What was your offense? I was on guard duty. A great celebration was going on inside. And a fellow guard managed to slip me a tankard of ale. Then another, and another. The next thing I remember, the captain of the guard was throwing a bucket of water in my face. You got drunk and fell asleep on guard duty? It happened over a year ago. Are you Since punishing him now? Whenever a disagreeable ah, task mind. comes along, it's given to me. Then we will see to it that the success of this quest restores your honor. Yeah, because I've got a lot of interest in his honor. Uh, okay, well, I thought that might be the Forest King's castle, but apparently not. It was the Boar King's castle. Maybe the Forest King is somewhere else. We'll see. But I will then uh, stop here as a not particularly successful first episode. But if you did watch it, thank you so much. And hopefully we will have a bit more success in the future.